Technologypress.com. I'm Eric, and I'm here welding up a frame for a side table for my brother, uh, an iron and oak table that you can see the end result of on the website when it's uh, uh, ready. But I thought I'd share a really useful and easy welding jig, and um, this has been with me for just about as long as I've had the welder, and that is a flywheel and crankshaft um, all bolted together as one unit and as you can see there's a lot of stops with the throws in the crank there's a lot of different levels that you can uh, set whatever your workpiece is at we've got a nice base on there that uh, you know allows things to be stable and that's what you want when you're playing around with welding uh, and it was cheap in this case uh, this one, you're probably not going to get one exactly the same. It's from uh, an old Morris, probably a Morris Miner that uh, a friend Chris and I found in the bush rotting away. Um, we hauled the engine and the transmission out with uh, high expectations in high school of rebuilding it. And that was not to be, so uh, it's just too far gone. Really cute thing though. We huffed and puffed to get it out, but... Uh, this is the one element that I saved. It had cylinders the size of teacups. But save this. You can go today uh, and get one from the Junker. I've seen uh, loads of them just at the side as folks are ripping apart engines at my local junkyard. And you can pick one up and uh, you know, for a f couple bucks you get something that'll be uh, really handy in doing all these projects where you want to hold things at angles and support things and weigh things down. It's just a great, cheap, useful welding aid. So for more on this and other cool things to empower your independence, go to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. Thanks.